Hello, welcome to my video on an automatic locker filler. Now, you could start out here with your boxes with your armor, meds, guns, and ammo, anything you want to put in your locker, and combine that all up into one line. Now, you may have another box for, say, hazmats or something. I just threw them in the armor box here, but uh, if you have a separate box, you could just add another connection in there, no problem. Of course, if you're using my modular sorting system, you can take off an output from the tier two line. I'll keep working out of these boxes here, though. So first of all, you want to put a splitter down, connect that in. Let's start configuring our lockers. First, let's start with some hazmat kits. Put down a filter, plug that in. And now we can set what we want in our locker. First of all, we want our hazmat, and make sure you set your Mac, Tommy, pistol bullets, and a medical syringe. We only want one Tommy, 80 bullet, and four syringes. Apply. Perfect. We can come over to our lockers. Lockers have three slots, and those correspond to your three locker kits here. You can also put in a drop box. I wouldn't recommend it, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but you can also put on a small box. Now we can just uh, daisy chain these up. The first slot, combine, first slot here, put in a drop box, and bring it down into a small box. Perfect. All right, now we just need to power the conveyor and turn it on. This will bring all of the gear that we set on the filter from all these boxes and bring it into the lockers. You see here, got a hazzy, four meds, Tommy and ammo. Perfect. We're missing a Thompson here. Now, this is one of the downsides to using a drop box, something went wrong here. There's a Tommy in the small box here, so what happened to the drop box? Drop boxes have a slot on the back, and if an item winds up in here, it can mess up your front. See, now I've removed the Thompson, so it's put one in here. I have had it where I've accidentally overflowed a drop box, and this counts as the last slot. So it is the last slot that the conveyor will fill. So it'll fill all these slots first, and then it'll put something in here. But I spent a whole day trying to figure out why this drop box wasn't working. It was because a Thompson had worked its way into the this back slot here and it was messing up the whole system so if you do use a drop box i highly recommend throwing something like a, a single metal frag or something in there just so that it doesn't ever happen the next thing is you need to lock all your things that you have kits going into the reason for that is if someone got a locker they could just take everything and they could just keep on stealing all your kits so you don't want to be leaving your lockers or boxes unlocked that's another downside to the drop box you can't lock it if someone has access to this they can just grab your full kit wait up to five seconds for the conveyor to fill it up again and then just steal another kit i really don't recommend drop boxes unless you absolutely have to and if you do use drop boxes i recommend using a hazmat with a, a tommy or something don't put a full metal kit in here one other thing with the drop box is you have to place it from the side with the inventory space. I know that a lot of people like going on the back side, switching it around so that it sticks out less. The problem with this is the storage adapter can now not connect. It's in the wall and it'll be blocked, so I can't put it anywhere. If you want to set uh, a different kit, right, you will have to use another conveyor. So that's why we have a splitter here. So you can put another conveyor in, hook that up, and put in the second slot here. Let's make this a SAR kit. Set all your limits here, how much of each thing you want. You only want one in the armor slot, and one gun of course, then say 75 ammo and four syringes. Power it up, turn it on, and you'll see it'll start filling up the kits here. Oh, I forgot to put coffee can helmets in the armor box. There you go, we got our full kit here. And we can set up a third one for our heavy armor. Set our maximums. And we just need to add more power and pass it through. There we go, now it's filling all the kits. Now you can daisy chain these, or if you want, you can put a splitter after the conveyor. Now, there is one thing I wanna mention, specifically with hazmats and ice AKs and the ice armor. They don't quite behave properly currently. I believe they will be fixed by next month. I'll show you what I mean though. All right, so let's set the filter for hazmats. And I only want one, right? Well, I've got some hazmats in here of different skin types. Turn that on and take the hazmat from there and puts it in there. The problem is when I take this hazmat out, it will now transfer every hazmat in here. The reason for that is because all of these hazmats came before the default skin hazmat in the box. And for some reason, it'll transfer every single hazmat up until it reaches the default hazmat. That can be a problem if you have a box full of differently skinned hazmats. As I said, I do think they are gonna fix this in the next patch in March, but as of right now, this is something to keep an eye on. You want all your hazmats to be the same skin, essentially. So make sure you either skin them all to regular if you don't have a skin, or if you do have one that you like, make sure they're all that skin. Otherwise, you might run into this issue. This issue is only with the default hazmat skin. So if I take all these back, put them all back in the box. Let's say I want a Nomad suit. So the Nomad suit has Lumberjack before it and it has stuff after it as well. So let's change the filter, the Nomad suit. Only want one, apply, turn it on, and you'll see it'll take it from the center, no problem. So the problem is only with default hazmat skins. And that applies for the ice skins as well. If I put 
with the assault rifle. Add that, only want one of them. Apply, turn it on. It'll grab this ICE AK and then this regular assault rifle here, like that. Then if I change it to the ICE assault rifle, then I grab these out of here. It'll only take the ICE one. It won't take every assault rifle up to the ICE one. And same with the armor, same thing happens. That's a thing to keep in mind. It all has to be ICE or all non-ICE. This does not affect regular skins, only has mess in the ICE variants. Uh, this should be fixed by next patch, but it's a good thing to keep in mind until then. And so just a quick reminder that if you do have my uh, sorting system set up, you can just take a little offshoot from the tier two line and plug it straight into this and it'll work flawlessly. So there you go. My key takeaways from this video would be make sure that it's on a lockable container. And I highly advise against using drop boxes, but if you do, just make sure you put a cheap kit in there that you don't care about too much. Thanks for watching my autofill locker module tutorial and be sure to stay tuned for additional modules and updates.